Hello everyone, this is Alex of Venom Machine Support. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can use a dollar to launder your vending machine. Now, I'm not talking about using your vending machine to launder money through, but we're using launder in its first definition here is to clean. The money that gets inserted into your vending machine, specifically the dollar bill acceptor, is dirty in one form or another. Now, as that dirt comes off the bills that are inserted into your bill acceptor, it collects on the belts, the mag head, the pinch rollers, and the optics, eventually causing the bill acceptor to reject more and more bills more frequently. So I wanted to show you a quick little way that you can use to extend the life of your bill acceptor to help keep it in operation. Now this is not a fix, this is just a preventive maintenance. So let me show you. All we're going to need to do this is simply a dollar bill. Now if you have a vending machine, you should have a dollar bill readily available if you're accepting cash. The other thing we're going to need is some rubbing alcohol. Now this is 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Now to say, make sure you get rubbing alcohol. None of the rubbing alcohol has any aloe added to it or any coloring added to it. We just want strictly rubbing alcohol. We're simply gonna take the rubbing alcohol, we're gonna pour it onto the dollar bill so it ends up being wet and we're gonna feed the dollar bill into the bill acceptor. We'll do that 10 to 15 times and it'll begin to pull that dirt off and clean the heads. Now, if you do a little bit of research, there are cleaning kits on the internet that you can purchase, which is basically a dense foam dollar bill with rubbing alcohol on it. And those are one to two time use items. Now, this is a very cheap alternative. So let me show you. We're simply gonna take the dollar bill and the rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going to pour the rubbing alcohol onto the dollar bill, like so, all right? Now be careful when you're doing it in a location. You might think that if you're kind of do something, maybe you're a pyromaniac or something like that, and you're going to set stuff on fire. But just you know, be aware of your surroundings. Now, once you have the dollar wet dollar bill, we're going to start to feed it into the dollar bill acceptor. So somebody's just going to insert it into the front of the bill acceptor here, and we'll pull it in, spit it back out, and we're going to repeat the process. Yeah, I'm just going to turn the bill around. I'm going to stick it back in. Now, over time, what's going to happen is it's going to pull that dirt off. And you may even go so far, as long as it's very damp and very wet, you can insert it and kind of grab it, and then you can braise the bill like that. And what that does is it's causing the belts to skip on the dollar bill, hopefully wiping off some of that dirt that's collected. So again, you're just going to continue this process. Doing it 10 to 15 times should be enough to get most of the dirt off. Now, there are going to be dirt that gets collected on the rollers and the belts. That's not going to come off. That is just going to happen with over time. But this is a way to extend the life of your dollar bill acceptor. Now, there are some dollar bill acceptors, such as this Series 2000 from Mars, or a Carta VN series, or a Convlex MCM series, or CB series, excuse me, where the bill will go in and it will get accepted because those units use are strictly optics. They strictly look at the bill. They don't use any sort of mag head to read the magnetized ink on a dollar bill. So if that happens, you're just simply going to pull the bill out and then reinsert it into the, uh, to the machine. Again, just do it over and over again and begin, you'll begin to see black marks such as this that form on the dollar bill. So that's a little quick way that you can do to perform a preventive maintenance on your bill acceptor. Again, this is not a fix. This is a preventive maintenance. If your bill acceptor, after you do this and your bill acceptor is still continues to reject dollar bills, and at that point, it may have to come out of the machine and repaired. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments of videos that you would like to see, please leave them below. With that being said, see you in the next video. Take care.